Hello YouTubes and welcome back to Tally's Marine Tales. Today we're going to do a pretty short video but on a pretty hot topic and I do not claim to be any kind of marine mammal expert but I have just recently started this series called Ocean News and so it would be quite remiss of me if I didn't report on one of the biggest ocean news stories currently doing the rounds. The story between the orcas or killer whales and the boats in the Straits of Gibraltar and if you haven't heard of the story then you live even more under a rock than I do. Okay so we're going to break the story down and get into it and I actually didn't realize the scale of it until I started reading for this article but it essentially started back in May 2020 when the first reports of these negative encounters between orcas and boats started appearing off of the Iberian coastline and since then the numbers have gotten worse and there have been hundreds of negative encounters reported between boats and orcas with 207 encounters reported for 2022 alone so this means that during their peak season which is kind of now in the European summer months there was usually an incident reported every single day with sometimes up to two or three incidents reported per day and it's carrying on this summer season with already a number of encounters reported from last month June. Now what actually happens in these encounters and in this context an encounter is defined as a physical interaction between a boat and an orca and in most cases what usually happens is that an orca will approach a sailing vessel and will either touch push or sometimes even completely turn the vessel. Most of these physical interactions are centered around the rudder of the boat and sometimes they are so powerful and sustained that the orca will completely break off the rudder from the boat. In these severe cases where the rudder is completely broken off, it can leave a hole in the hull of the boat where water can start coming in and I've heard of three reports where yachts have actually sunken because of the damage caused by the orca. So these encounters are usually quite scary and can be quite damaging. I mean, just think about how absolutely massive these animals are. Female orcas can grow over five meters in length and can weigh over five tons. So you think of a five ton animal showing an interest in your sailing vessel, there's a potential to do a lot of damage, whether the animal intends to damage it or not. Now, this is definitely something new and weird going on because despite these animals being the pinnacle predator in the ocean, I mean, we're talking about animals that can kill great white sharks to eat their livers. I have made a video about this, you can check it out somewhere here, but you know, these are the pinnacle predators in the oceans, but despite this, there's never been a recorded attack by an orca on a human in the wild. Obviously captivity is a bit of a different story, but in the wild, orcas have never been recorded to attack humans. And these kinds of negative interactions between boats and orcas have also historically been very rare and sporadic, and they just kind of haven't really happened all that often. But this is clearly something different. This is a concentrated large number of physical encounters between orcas and boats in a very specific area. So it's something new going on. It's a phenomenon we haven't really seen before. And so scientists have been monitoring the situation. I think they made their working group in August 2020. They have reported some of their findings in the scientific literature. So there has been some scientific monitoring of the situation given how new and weird it is. Now these scientists think that this particular behavior with the orcas approaching and physically interacting with a boat was started by one particular individual, an adult female whose name is Gladys Blanca or White Gladys. And at the time in 2020, she was the only one who seemed to be engaging in this behavior. And she carried on with this behavior into 2021, even though she had a newborn calf with her. And it seems that she has taught this behavior to her offspring and to other orcas because to date there have been over 10 individual orcas who have been identified in various encounters. So this sort of behavior is, is being learned and spread through the groups. I think what I love most about the story is how they've named these orcas. So every single orca who has been identified as being involved in these encounters has been given a name of Gladys something. For example, Gladys Blanca or Gladys Clara. And this word Gladys comes from their original scientific name, Orca Gladiator which I think is very fitting for the current context. But despite this information that has been gathered to date, there's still no real consensus on why these orcas are exhibiting this behavior. But there are essentially two main hypotheses and scientists seem to be falling into one of two camps. I call the first camp the optimist camp because these are scientists who believe in the fun or fashion hypothesis. You heard that correctly. 
So orca pods can actually go through fads or trends. Something will become popular in the group, one individual will start a behavior, everybody kind of copies and does it, it spreads throughout the group, and then it disappears almost as quickly as it appeared in the group. It's very similar to how fashion trends come and go in human society. Orcas are incredibly intelligent, social, um, curious and so these scientists think that this interaction you know between this physical interaction with boats is just these orcas playing around having a game just being curious unfortunately the second camp isn't so fun and I call this the pessimist camp because these scientists believe in the trauma hypothesis and according to this one or more orcas would have had a triggering event which would have been a really bad or traumatic experience with a boat and so now these orcas are trying to stop boats to prevent this traumatic event from reoccurring there's no official record as to what this traumatic event may have been but this specific pod of orcas have historically been known to interact with fishing vessels in the area. So both the orcas and the fishing vessels are after the bluefin tuna. And so the orcas have learned how to steal some tuna off of the hooks of the fishing vessels. And unfortunately, sometimes this has led to orcas getting entangled and injured in the fishing gear. And in fact, one of the orcas who are involved in these uh, negative boat encounters, his name is... Black Gladys and this orca has injuries that look like it could have been could have come from humans and a second orca Grey Gladys did witness another orca getting tangled in fishing lines in 2018 so there is definitely potential that a traumatic and a triggering event could have happened even though it hasn't necessarily been reported. Let me know down in the comments below whether you fall into the optimist or the pessimist camp. I think myself personally, while I would like to believe in the fun or, fa or fashion hypothesis, I think I lean more towards the trauma hypothesis just because of the history of what's been going on in the area and this behavior was started by an adult female and this is more consistent with adult behavior. But I don't think at the end of the day we'll truly ever know what caused the start of this behavior but it has been socially transmitted through the groups. It's been learned by everybody. Everybody's doing it now. So it's probably here to stay at least for a little while. Thankfully, there have been no human fatalities recorded to date. Just a lot of broken boat rudders and some sunken yachts. We do have to bear in mind that this subpopulation of orcas called the Iberian orcas are actually critically endangered. There's only less than 50 individuals left in their population. And so we just have to bear this in mind, realize and respect that this is their territory. And they're not afraid to remind us of that, even if it means they're having to show off their gladiator strength. All I know for sure is that orcas are gosh darn smart. We have this behavior off of the Iberian coastline with these orcas interacting with boats. This behavior has spread amongst individuals. They've learned from each other. They're all doing it now. Closer to home here in South Africa, we have these orcas that are killing sharks to eat their livers. And while this was started by two individuals, there is some evidence to suggest that this behavior is also being learned by other individuals along our coastline. So yeah, these these animals are crazy, crazy intelligent. And I don't know, I'd like to pose the question, are orcas taking over our oceans? But that's a question for another day.